Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. My name is Robert Luigi. In the last episode we found out an awful lot of expositional stuff about what this game is and uh, what's really going on and I won't really explain that now mainly because watch the damn episode you lazy fool and also because maybe that's kind of spoilers if you're just coming into this episode. I don't really know. We found loads out. We, we have the, the sail cloth paraglider thing. We jumped off there. We're now in like main Hyrule Kingdom which is now kind of this area as opposed to this which is the Great Plateau. We're trying to get to Kakariko Village, where Impa is waiting. But before we do that, I've noticed this guy. I kind of want to hurt him in, in a great way. We got a really strong bow in the last step. That was an awful That was an awful shot. That's okay. We got an awful lot of uh, powerful equipment in the last episode. Mainly just one thing. But I would like to fight this gentleman if I can, like, get the right weapon out. Maybe that would do. You seem very strong, so I'm, I'm inclined to give it a go. So, you know... All my Dark Souls training might come in handy, but maybe not, because this is not Dark Souls in the slightest. Um, he's like nearly, nearly gone. I'd like this. I probably can't have that. I'll just get a different weapon. Get a, get the uh, Korok Leaf. Maybe is is not very useful at this stage, but I would, I would like this because it's quite good. Um, you come attack me, and I'll dodge out the way. All this Dark Souls training, which is, you know, being used in a. Oh, that's how we throw it. I see. Now he's dead. This pleases me. I get a Moblin Fang. That was a Moblin. He had a very long snout for a for a Moblin. Boko Bat. It seemed very large. And a Moblin Horn. To be honest, I saw that. I thought it might be his spine. Maybe that's just me being morbid. But our general quest is to go this way. But as, as you may well know, the essence of an open world game is that you go that way in your own time, in your own speed, without necessarily going there directly, which I believe is a, is a better way of doing things. It's interesting... I've heard a lot of uh, discussions over what makes an open world game good in the last couple of weeks, and I feel a good way of making a good, that's a that's bad, bad use of grammar, but a good way of making a, a uh, an interesting open world game, make it an element of mystery about where the, the locations are. If we go to our Sheikah Slate, we have no idea where any of these are. We haven't even got, got any, like, architect, not architecture, any ge geographical uh, settings or relations. We don't know whether there's rivers or mountains or, or volcanoes or anything. So, it means that exploration is a large part of it. I just thought we might as well just go. Exploration is a large part of it. And so there's an incentive to get more knowledge and have, uh, have, have, you know, explore and grow your knowledge larger. Does that make any sense? Make your brain bigger and understand your area a bit, little bit more, uh, cohesive. I don't know. I was, I was doing combat, doing combat and talking at the same time is a little tricky. Uh, a soup ladle, like it. We got equi equipped now. I don't know if we do. That's fine. Uh, Boko, oh, it's just so many things. So many things. Some of them are useful. I don't know if we're running low on weapons or if we just we're, we're hitting so many when we're not running we're not running low on weapons in the slightest. More arrows is always welcome. Uh, a throwing spear. I would like press the right button. No, press that button. Gonna get better at pressing the buttons. I feel uh, soup ladle is actually better than this, but it, that cuts down trees. So uh, we've also got the rusty broadsword, which I should probably use primarily because. Uh, no, I should probably use primarily because it's a sword and you know that that makes it better than any anything else We have at the moment. What is this a rusty claymore? Which is you know like really no really good as well So we'll get rid of I'll get rid of this if I can actually do that and then we'll pick up the rusty claymore lovely um, Maybe fight we, ha we don't have to fight enemies We don't need to fight is my thinking because it's not like a an action RPG enemies are fighting each other or something over there I'm not sure what's going on Um it's not some kind of action RPG where we get experience points for doing so. Uh, so it's not really that important. They're fight. They're trying to hunt a boar. Enemy AI, which actually has idle animation, i.e. animation which is not uh, relevant to your current situation. Maybe idle is not the right word for the for the circumstance, but uh, animation which applies when you're not around, effectively. So I appreciate that there's an element of. Uh, I guess realism, really. I you know, realism's I'm not really realism is not a dirty word. It's just kind of overused, if anything. Now I kind of don't want to fight those guys, so we'll kind of. There's a shrine. These are now these are now all optional, which kind of makes me want to do them because the shrines give runes. I think they give runes, or maybe just the ones that are important to the opening stages of the game give runes. And I would also like to travel to the top of one of these towers so I can. 
Uh, are they shooting at me? I thought some. I thought I saw something fly through the air. You see. Um, yeah, I'd like to go to a tower to get a better uh, lie of the land and see what I can go to and basically add some beacons around. But at the same time, I don't want to stop too much. I want to give a semblance of progress, but also a certain amount of exploration about it. I just want. I don't want to cut too much in this let's play. Oh, hello. I didn't even notice you. You just came from the ground, didn't you? Get back to the ground. Get back in the ground. Stab you, do so much damage. A traveler sword would be nice. I, that's also the wrong button. Uh, I, I know this is useful. I know this is useful. Um, I will get rid of one of these because the durability is quite poor. Traveler sword has my interest. Tra Traveler shield is in trip. No, minus is definitely not the right button. Get rid of the, this pot lid. A pot lid. Why? Why do we have a pot lid? It's a fine question. Traveler shield and a traveler sh sword. Keep pressing minus. Don't know why. Don't really know why. Pressing A. I now have a traveler traveler sword in my in my inventory and a traveler shield. So we are doing the traveling part of this game quite nicely. The exploration part is is out of control at the moment. Killing everybody. My my rusty broadsword. Br rusty broadsword means that uh, they don't have a lot of durability, I guess. As does a boca bin arm because. It's an it's skeleton. It's skeleton stuff, so don't expect it to last too long. Even though I, you know, I would have liked it if it broke then, because it would have worked well in my sort of I don't even know. It doesn't matter. Pokemon Fang, Pokemon whatever that is. Uh no, minus is minus is very much the wrong button. It's okay. Can we drop them here? Drop them at this menu? No, we can't. Especially I have, we have got to go into there and then get rid of... Uh, 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 the Pokeblint arms are amazing, I've got to say. They're just they're so good. Uh, but I'd like one of these, because it's it's pretty good. Going in here, doing more shrines, trying to find my place in this world, and trying to, I guess, find the reason behind the optional shrines, because there are optional shrines in this game. They would be from now on. They won't always give me runes unless it's, it's you know, deceptive how many runes there are. Because we have like four out of five or five out of six runes. But there's only space for six, is my thinking. So, interesting. Also, we're noticing in the top right, this actually shows how many orbs we have at the moment, not how many we've uh, got over the course of the game. Kind of interesting. I also don't know what Korok seeds are. I have no idea what they are. There's like 900 in this game. We haven't seen one. I am concerned. Do you set some foot in my shrine? Uh, I am Bosch Kala. I am the name. Uh, doesn't even matter. Doesn't really matter. They all say the same thing. Might get their names wrong. The wind guides you. I like it. Is there a Sheikah Slate uh, contactless payment thing? That's not really what it is, but it might as well be. Do we just like go or leap? Leap? Nope. That's not what we do. How do we make the? How do we let the wind guide us? Is the question. Are these going to be very annoying? trials where we can only do them when we've got the right equipment? Or is it just showing us that we can do that? Can we backtrack through here? Are we going to need a specific item to do this? Because I don't think we can really uh, be guided by the wind too much here. We may, come, may have come here a little too early. That's for concern. I'm going to see if there's anything, anything else we can do here. If not, I shall leave. Oh, that's bad. Oh, I just thought of something. We have something which makes us technically lighter, in a way. Put me back at the beginning. I, I know what I'm doing now, I think. So, let's go back to this room. We have we have something which does let us glide. We've got it last episode, it's quite good. Can't climb up them, because they're all flat surfaces. We do have a paraglider. Maybe we should use it and see what we can do with it. There we go. Oh, God, that's okay. Slight brain fart. Not for very long, but for long enough for me to feel bad about it. Does that... Do, do you know what that means? I think I know what that means. That's fine. It's, it's me thinking that there might be shrines that you can't... We just fell off. I didn't jump, that's why. You fool! You foolish man! How long is this shrine? Not very long. We're still gonna glide to our deaths, though. A certain amount of muscle memory with Zelda games that you've gotta jump and then press. So it's actually pressing X twice, which is not so bad. Me thinking that I'd have to press, like, A to... or B. B to run, then Y to jump for some reason. I don't really know. It's not that difficult is what I'm trying to get at. Uh, what's... I'm... a certain amount of exploring going on here. Uh, what's up here? Processing it at a... at a very sort of segmented rate. That's just how we get back, so... Apparently we can't get back? Is there a spirit orb? I guess there is, because I can see a place where there's a guy who might want to give me a spirit orb. Oh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna burp. Uh, jump! No, I didn't jump! Didn't... 
God damn it. God damn it. Dice. It's so many years of muscle memory. Just, it's hard to break out of that mold. Luckily, we do have an awful lot of food. An awful lot of food. <laughs> I didn't think we had that much food. But we have uh, things we can use to make sure we don't die imminently. Uh, that'll do. And maybe one of these. Baked apple. We kind of made that accidentally. That's okay. We jump and press A. There we go. Oh, it's not even A. Don't think it's A. Don't stop thinking it's A. Do we maybe want to go that way? It's over there. Oh, it's a chest of some kind. I would like that. Just in case we get um, kicked out. Oh, what did he press? What did he press? The wrong button he pressed! Oh, so many buttons. The wrong button. I accidentally pressed, like, Z ZR or something. I don't know. New controller. Have mercy. Gonna go jump, and there we go. So I want this. Can we get this? Uh, no. Or maybe we jump from higher up, and then expect it to maybe... Maybe this might work. We jump from higher up and then expect this to blow us in the right direction. Oh, kind of, kind of, kind of, yes! Kind of, yes! Kind of, absolutely, yes! Give me the beautiful bounty which resolves in old oh, 20. Soldier's Claymore. I would like that. Don't give me my. my, my I, I will empty everything for a Soldier's Claymore that does 20 damage. My god, I will do that. Uh. Traveler's sword, or the Bokoblin arm, the Boko- is that, is that a fleshy arm? No, it's just a broken arm, because it looks red. I was confused, it's okay. It's still alive, that's- that's- I mean, it's humorous, but also kind of creepy at the same time. A soldier's claymore, yes, I want that. It does quite a lot of damage. Has some pretty good durability as well. Make sure we press the jump button, there we go. That's fine. We're learning as we go. Simple matter of going over here, and then pressing a button to stop the, the flying, so we don't fly off the edge, that'd be embarrassing. Hello, old monk man person. Could be female monk people. I don't really know. You just look quite old, so... It's hard to really tell. Uh, they say the exact same thing. Can I skip? I'll skip. Because we can do that now. Give me the orb. There you go. Orb, wonderful. I, I've kind of learnt my lesson. Give me health as well. Nice work, man. Um, learning the lesson about how I'm resourceful and that the goddess will uh, be my guidance or I will guide the god. I don't really know. We guide each other. It's a very mutually, mutually beneficial relationship. Anyway, so that didn't have a rune, but it did use an item we got recently uh, in, an, in a sort of a way to demonstrate that item and the effectiveness of that item. So maybe we'll get an item later down the line which we can then use in a shrine which will demonstrate the different uses of that item. I kind of, you know, it's it's very simple. It's like video game 102, not quite 101. You, you demonstrate new gameplay mechanics, not necessarily as soon as possible, but wherever you can is a pretty good idea to do that. Look at my giant fucking sword. It's gonna, as a Lots of people sleeping over there, we won't worry about that. I am... Um, well, the tower's over there. I'd like to get to the tower. You don't necessarily luck an enemy. You are not an enemy. But I would like to kill you anyway, sir! The end is near. What, are you looking at the... the Guardian? What's wrong with the Guardian? Uh, I, I may be somewhat used to seeing bad omens by now, but that's... Well, that's just... Let's just say that it's badder than most. What kind of thing, sir? We're doomed! I mean, don't panic. Sorry, who are you? Have we met? Probably not. Well, doesn't matter who you are, really. I was getting tired of talking to myself, so you've come at a good time. By the by, those strange things have popped out of the ground. Did you see them? I was attacked by them. I'm not talking about- uh -huh. I'm not talking about those- uh, I'm not talking about mushrooms here. I'm talking about those towers. Wasn't attacked by those, so maybe not- I think meant the Guardians. They seem to have popped up all over the place. And that's not the only strange thing that happened. Those long deserted shrines suddenly started glowing. Uh. You know what that means, don't you? The end is near! With all these crazy- with all this craziness happening, I've been keeping an eye on that thing. Just to see if it suddenly starts moving, you know? Oh, you mean the- yeah, good idea. Good idea, man. Yeah, that Guardian is worth watching. It's just like the ones from those old stories. Did you know some of them can move? One of them once chased me down and tried to kill me. This one that you got here? No, it was a different one. That one was close to the castle, but before the forest. When they spot you, they shoot blue beams of light at you. Ah, oh, I know. Not good. Man, I was so sure that that was the end for me. I was prepared for the worst. But I somehow managed to escape into the nearby woods. Mm -hmm. You think it was my lightning fast reflexes that saved me? Ha! Ah, I wish. Truth is, I just got lucky. Uh, anyway, I hear guardians like that still wander around Hyrule Castle. Be careful. After a hundred years! So... That is a long period of dominance. They often talk about, like, the Nazis thought their regime would last for, uh, years and millennia and that sort of thing. It lasted, like... A decade, maybe? Because, uh, you know, 33 to 45. 12 years. It lasted 12 years. The idea that... <clears throat> the idea that Ganon has taken over Hyrule Castle and, by extension, Hyrule, uh, and just doomed its residents to a hundred years of 
like subjugation, which is quite impressive. So I, you know, I've, I've got to I've got to acknowledge the fact that that is an impressive feat of itself. But at the same time, uh, maybe we should do something about that. You think? So many, so many, oh, lots of enemies. Let me do one of these, because that is kind of cool. Oh, we should probably maybe use some kind of shield at some point, because we're taking a lot of damage. Or we could just run. Many things we could try and do. I think the wisest option is maybe running and going for that tower, because uh, I like the look of that. There's enemies everywhere. There's also fireflies. I'm yet to see, I guess, <clears throat> here's the thing. <clears throat> Clear my throat again. I see the value of fighting those enemy encampments, because they contain chests, which can sometimes contain good things, but they haven't contained a really good thing yet, so I haven't quite seen the value of uh, going after them quite yet. I see, like, a light. Is that the moon? What's going on? It's creepy. It's fine. I guess we drown, or have a really bad time in the water, so maybe just cool it on, on the dashing. What happens when we run out of stamina? We're about to find out. Uh, we drown. Not good. Do we die? Dying would be bad. I imagine. No, we just go here and we lose a bit of health. That's fine. It's like falling in that shrine. Falling everywhere else is an instant death and you die and it's a bad thing, but... <clears throat> in shrines, not such a problem. I thought that was another door. And I was gonna... I was gonna show off my incredible puzzle-solving skills by... Oh, hello. My incredible puzzle-solving skills. Are you... Hang on. Many things happening right now. Hello, Octorox. You look like turnips. Is that just a- that's a very simple observation to make, but you very much look like turnips, and I want the things you- that just came out of you. What are they? Uh, they look living. They are OCTO BALLOONS! Hold it in your hands and then place it on an object to attach it. So we, it's a balloon with an octorock. I love that. I don't know the application. Of course I don't. But, uh, I- I still love it. Also fish. I want the fish. Can I just fight the fish, or have I gotta, like, just take it out the- out, out of the water? With my teeth? Like some kind of feral beast? I'd like to. I'm not sure if that's entirely what the game wants me to do. Also, lots of key swings. I know there's lots of uh, keys in this game because it's a Zelda game and, you know, bats are everywhere, but it's getting a little bit insane at the moment. I kind of want to avoid the enemy encampment because there's lots of bad guys over there. And I'd like to get to the tower before I lose my mind. Also looks like lava over there, but I think it's just a reflection of the, of the sun or some kind of warm... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to do it until I saw the explosive barrels. They're having a lot of fun over there. I'm going to ruin their fun. I'm very sorry, guys. Ruin your fun. Sorry. Uh, eventually going to ruin your fun. Maybe not ruin your fun. Maybe get some fire arrows out. Because the fire arrows will set fire to the bomb. Everyone's disappeared from the fire thing. That's... Oh, he killed me in one shot! With a jump attack! That's a bit insane. Instead of throwing yourself at enemies over and over to no avail, or troll cooking special dishes. Are you implying that I was throwing myself at enemies over and over again to no avail? I mean, we didn't go very far back, so I would quite like to just use the fire arrows in a, in a productive manner. There are, there is, no, there is this here, which is just a throwing spear, which I'm not too interested in. I am interested uh, in using the right arrows. Oh, I'm gonna burp. That's fine, it's not a problem. And then actually aiming it properly, and then ruining their day quite substantially. That makes me feel a lot better. So the guys in blue do a lot of damage. I like it. Or I don't like it, but I like that we have this knowledge now. So, he's now gonna die or not die. Why is there no tick over damage for, for uh, fire? Because that's what I imagine it would do. Or it just does like what a fire arrow would do. Or did do in previous Zelda games, which was just do more damage. So, I don't really know. I don't know which one's better. I would like the soldier's broadsword getting all sorts of interesting crap which we can't pick up because we got so much other crap. Let's get rid of like everything which we're not going to be using uh, for a little while. I kind of want to keep that. I don't want to keep anything else really. I want that because it's useful for something. Uh, that kind of is useful for something. Anything else? Okay. That was a lot of things we just put put on the ground. <laughs> that, wasn't, that wasn't very clever. Soldier's broadsword. Good. Uh, anything else which might be useful? Just Bokoblin horns for days. They're everywhere. I like to think that around here somewhere is going to be a nice chest full of nice bountiful things because we killed a lot of a lot of enemies. Hopefully now we're into the actual plains of Hyrule, into Hyrule Kingdom, whatever it was called. Maybe this will contain something nice. No, something a bit more... Uh, adv advantageous, like a soldier's shield, for example. I wasn't going to mention that, but you know, I was thinking it. So, like a good shield wasn't really a, wasn't really uh, my first priority because clearly I don't really use the shield, but it's a good thing to have because it's four times as good as what we currently have. So I would like to use that just a little bit. Maybe also use a weapon which 
I can also use a shield with. I haven't got anything. All of them are two. No. Broadsword is, is one handed, two handed. One handed? Okay. Now we're. <clears throat> we're good. Now we're cooking my gas. The. There's a frog. I want it. I will kill it. I will, I will, I will kill it. Where is it? Did it just disappear? Why do these frogs disappear? Why, why are there magical, mystical frogs so early in this Zelda game? I can't keep up. That's so hard to keep up with. Okay. Let's try and get across this bridge, not this bridge, but get across this river without instantly dying. Would be very nice. Just leap into that, climb up here. Wonderful. <clears throat> we haven't got to get a door and make it into- Oh, there's an enemy encampment inside a skull formation. I like that. That's a lovely house you have here. Bring your- bring your people. See what- see how I feel about it. I don't feel anything. I am an emotionless being right now. Um, not really. I'm having fun playing with this brand new Zelda game. Let's do that. Didn't really do anything. Let's fuck him up with my awesome sword of awesomeness. Um, he went all the way over there. Bit confusing why that happened, but I have a shield which does a lot of damage now. And more broadswords. So maybe we fight the enemies that look difficult. Uh, with the knowledge- with the knowledge that they may give me a good uh, weapon of some sort. That's a very simple thing. There are, there are explosive barrels. We could have easily snuck up on this, these people and then just, you know, ruin their day. Like we did with the, the, the previous guys. It's okay. Anything in here? Not really. I want to go to this tower. Tower's so important. Does look a little bit like it's uh, off the, not off the beaten path, but slightly difficult to get to. But that's okay. We've got all the time in the world. This is going to be quite a long episode, just because we haven't really done anything yet. And I would like to do something today, other than just, you know, die, drown, uh, be killed by really strong enemies, and uh, anything else I've missed out, I don't really know. Got to stop pressing the right, right, uh, thing. <clears throat> oh god, I, I cleared my throat and they knew I was here. How tragic, that's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll overcome this with our ingenuity. Ingenuity, which is abandoning, and abandoning us, abandoning us at the critical Crucial time. Fruit and mushroom. Fruit and mushroom mix? Lovely. Oh, Link loves it. Oh, he loves it so much. That is a... I, I'm pleased we did something there. Don't you... Don't you set fire to my shield! Don't you set fire to my shield! Oh, that did an awful lot of damage. And he's on fire. And the world's coming to an end. That's okay. You you eat that. Oh, he's, it's adorable. It's so do Okay. He's on fire. Uh, my, sh my shield's gone, which is not so good. And now all the grass is on fire. Might be my fault. Was it my fault? Goblin guts. I mean, yeah. Why not? We're on fire again. I don't want to be on fire again. Oh, God. Uh, things are going well. Things are going well. Things are going not so well. Can we stop being on fire? Maybe just get out of the fire is, is a pretty simple solution. I guess it is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I've lost all track of what I was doing because I took so much damage and like got new weapons and more steak. Steak is everywhere. Stop pressing minus. <clears throat> Minus is not the right button. Um, kill this joker. Get rid of this man. Get rid of that man. Arrows have drop off. Of course it does. Because this is a, a modern game which uh, takes into account the laws of physics, hilariously enough. It's okay. <laughs> Are there any more people alive? I think there were because I think more than one was trying to hit me. Are you telling me there's no, no special item to be gained from here? There is a sword stuck in the ground, so I'm interested in that. It's a traveler's claymore. It's not actually that good. I, I'm gonna do a bit of cooking. That brief interlude that you must go to at every every point in every playthrough of Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild, where you take so much damage and use a lot of items to heal yourself up. We have fruit and mushroom mix Mark II, which does four times or double health because I used double the ingredients. Anything else here? I want to cook up goblin goblin guts, bokoblin guts. Come on, game. You tell me you can't. How about we make uh. Acorn and honey. That sounds interesting. Don't you tell me that doesn't sound interesting. I don't know what it will make, but I I hope we fail one of these. Like so! Dubious food. Uh, it's too gross to even look at. It is censored food. I have always dreamt of eating censored food. Uh, I believe everyone has. It's a, it's a relatively common goal for everybody to uh, aspire to. I would like to climb this. Maybe we just jump off and don't instantly die on the rock formations below. It's okay. <laughs> it's not okay. It's really not okay, but it's fine. I would like a, a an overview of this area and maybe to how, how far are we to uh, Halfway maybe maybe we'll try and get a bit closer before the end of the episode and um, Okay, we drowned. I'm wondering if we shouldn't have gotten a stamina increase from the goddess from the goddess statue rather 
because I'm thinking stamina is very useful in this game. For It's used for basically everything. Heart containers only really have one use. Let me blow some more things up before we forget that we can do that, because it's, you know, it's a very simple thing. Very, very easy, effective thing. Press that button. Uh, throw and detonate and claim our reward, which might be good. It's fairly in plain sight, so maybe not. It's a soldier spear! Getting all the interesting weapons now we've escaped the, uh... Oh, gonna burp. No, I'm not gonna burp. Fight through it. I lost my awesome shield. I'm actually quite sad about that, but, you know, we will we will overcome that in, in whatever way we can. Do we have to go to the top? What do we gain from being going at the top other than a, uh, a viewpoint, maybe? I, I kind of want the viewpoint, so I will meet you at the top, I think. I mean, at this stage, we should try climbing these just to prove we can, just to prove we've learned our lesson from falling off cliffs and falling down large uh, places we might not be able to get to. We can do this, which should fill us in on the area we uh, haven't really got any information on at the moment, so yes. It's almost exactly like a Ubisoft game. I, I, I didn't really read the interview where some publication asked, like, Anuma or somebody who, who was involved in this game, what games did you play in order to uh, get a grasp on, you know, what you'd like Zelda to be in the future? I'm fairly certain they played a Ubisoft game, because this is very similar to a Ubisoft. I, the, the Ubisoft archetype, that you go to these tall towers or anything, you... Uh, do something up there, you like break open a jamming signal box or something, and you get information on the surrounding area. A little bit like this. There you go. It's a Ubisoft sam- not sandbox game, a Ubisoft open world game. I'm not necessarily- I haven't really got a problem with that, to be honest. It, I, I think that with a Zelda game works very well. A Sheikah sensor. Is this a rune? This sensor reacts when you're close to shrines you have not yet visited. If you head in that direction where the direction is strongest, you should be able to find a shrine. Or we can just, like, look at it. We can disable it with Y on the menu. It's kind of interesting. Um, I'm not sure why we'd want to disable it, in a way. Unless it becomes annoying. It could become quite annoying, but uh, now operational. Very nice. We have a, a little thing. Little thing in the corner. It's mildly useful. It's okay. Get on with it. I don't really care at the moment, but I will still I will still do this. Because I'd like to see what's going on around the various parts of Hyrule. There's another one in that direction. Well, mm, I'm not sure we should do too much exploring. There's Hyrule Castle, by the way, in case you haven't seen that before. Can we zoom out with this? I'm not sure we can. That's kind of irritating, but... At the same time, not so much. I thought there was something over there. There's a shrine over there. I will place a pin, like, there. It's over there. We'll, we'll get to that eventually. Anything else around here we can really look at? Not- what's that? I want to check it out anyway. Uh... It's just an encampment of some sort. I'm not sure- no! I mean, that can stay there. We know where it's- we know where it is now. And there's something going on over there. Probably more- probably more bad guys. I'd expect more bad guys. And I'm not necessarily going to shy away from fighting bad guys, but I kind of don't- care at this stage not to put a too too much of a dampener on it uh so how do we get forward i guess we kind of go if we go up that way i'm gonna go up that way and by doing so i should jump off and use my magic magic this magic this interesting that it uses up stamina because that means we can't do this forever which i believe has an element of tactical benefit to it i'm just gonna go here where we were <laughs> where we were trying to go before or not really trying to go before but accidentally put a a marking down for anything here other than barrels. Oh, I'm gonna ruin my- I'm gonna ruin my soldier's broadsword. I think we've got more than one. I can see why immediately you want to- you might want to turn off the uh, the shrine sensor because it's kind of a random noise when you're not actively looking for things. We want to go up here and go round. Does you- does you- does you an awful lot of stamina doing the running. Nowhere near as much as you do from the climbing and given the choice what do I find more- more uh- uh, strenuous? Honestly, climbing. I can do the running. I'm I'm not bad at running, honestly. I, I feel like I've, I've got good pace management to my running, but climbing? Honestly, I haven't tried it too much. If we had a sledgehammer, we could smash these. But we used it not so long ago, so we'll come back to them. I'm already a little bit annoyed with the sound of this shrine sensor. I, I see the shrine. Might not do it this episode. We have to go around that way, or we could use our, our uh, fucking, I don't know, our sailcloth. It's not a sailcloth. It technically is a sailcloth, but we're not using it to sail. Unless, of course, you mean sailing the winds of time or something, and no one means that, so that means nothing. Um, we can't... I, okay, we can! I thought we had to use a 
sledgehammer. So with that in mind, I'm gonna go back and smash those previous rocks up. I shall do so with my Kokiri leaf. I, I have to try. It is technically a weapon I would like to try, okay? Does it do anything? Oh my god, it does. I love it. I This is wonderful. It will take an, an absolute age, and it's not really helping me in any way. But I want to, you know... This is why we have an open world Zelda game with so many different options for weapons. You can smash open a rock with a leaf, which has some pretty impressive durability. We're experimenting here, making an awful lot of noise in doing so, and it's not really... I'm going to keep trying it. I'm going to keep trying it for like half an hour, or until it breaks. I, I think I know which is going to happen first. It broke, but we found out we can sort of do a little bit of, like, a little bit of, like, chip damage to <laughs> fucking... <laughs> oh, just do this. That's much quicker. Why do we do that from the start? A little bit of damage to sort of special rocks, okay? Can we hit that? Kind of. We target it and sort of do a jump thing. Jump, stab, jump. Yeah, that's more like it. That was pretty special. I think I'll do the shrine, then we'll end it off. Oh no, my phone has stopped ringing. I don't know where the shrine is. That's not a problem. It's it's the closest thing we have. If we're going to make this, we might better make this. Closest thing we have to some kind of expositional fairy telling me to go in this direction is a is a squeaky sensor thing which is saying, "Go in this direction." Fucking do it. Re da dahi shrine. There may be a slight issue with the recording as I was hitting that rock with my my spear because um the recording uh, feedback playback screen was kind of frozen in a way. It was catching up. It was it might be a problem I like to think if I address it now I can explain it without having to use text or something. Let's go down here and I, This is this is entirely no idea what's gonna be here because we've had the explanation of how a sailcloth works Or the paraglider. I will call it the sailcloth and a sailcloth until the end of time. Okay, so get used to it So what's this gonna be? Is this like a fighting one? Do we get new weapons? New runes or something. So exciting. Seems like quite a narrow, narrow room by the looks of that. So curious. Uh, puzzles. Uh, Rida he didn't make these uh, these names very easy to say. Nintendo. They're, they're very much of a timing is critical. I like this. This is a little bit okay. I like this already. I like this quite a lot. Um, this does seem a little bit like portal puzzles in a way, or just really extended puzzle rooms in general. So, I like this. Are you going to immediately go back? Or there you go. Wonderful. Good timing. So it's not necessarily a, a an application of using a rune. It's more like, we have ideas for puzzles, and maybe not necessarily dungeons themselves, so we'll use them for this. Now, I mentioned that timing was key, so of course this is going to get a, bit, a little bit more irritating. So, oh yeah, physics puzzles! Oh, Nintendo have been picking this up from every other game out there. Like, all these indie puzzle game titles, and oh, it feels good. I'm not sure what we're supposed to be learning by doing this, but I'm having an awful lot of fun in the process. Learning that this game has a physics engine, and it's quite interesting, and it's, it's flexible in how it works, so real-world logic applies to it, so it's kind of interesting. What does that do? That does that, and we maybe don't want to do that, or maybe... Lift it up at the very end, maybe. That's an idea. Bring, bring, bring me another! So we lift it up like, 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 fly my pretty! Oh, kind of, I see. Could we do it by jumping? So like, like, A. Hey, yeah, that does work. Okay, so, make some momentum, then we jump! Maybe not, okay. Learning as we go. Go straight down there, don't even have time to stop, and then we do like that! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Getting, getting a grip with puzzles. Gotta love it. Is that a magnetic chest? Because I don't really know how we can get it otherwise. Uh, maybe. Can I, can I get this? Uh, are all chests magnetic? Is a thought. Uh, that one is not. Which is kind of fun. Or annoying. I'm one of those things. <laughs> not so sure. Uh, we want to do some... There's a barrel? Oh, we used a barrel to weigh it down? Maybe? Might makes it go higher? Yeah, okay. I'd like the chest, because the chests have proven to be maybe useful so far. Uh, how do we get the ch These barrels do seem important. How do we do this? I don't think we really do, because we can't climb with a barrel, that's the problem, so... As much as we might- oh, hang on. Are they metal but Are they maybe metal barrels? They could be. I'm thinking this as we go. We're near the end of the episode. My brain power may be a little bit down on what it is uh, usually, which is, means my IQ is like 50 instead of 60 or something. I don't really know. Um, that's how we launch a spear. It's mine again. That's good. Uh, yes, magnetic barrel. Wonderful. So we bring it over here. 
don't lose it. How do we bring it closer to ourselves? Or just, we just, we can't really do that. That's okay. So then we put it on there. That's, oh, I like it. Optional, Up. Oh, no. <laughs> Keep throwing the spear. See where it gets you. Could probably use it for some kind of, you know, something later. Or push. Oh yeah, there we go. How far can we push it? Pretty far. Not quite far enough to put it on there, but you know, there we go. Cancel. Yeah, okay. Application of things we've learned before. I feel marginally more clever. A climber's bandana. I have much... <laughs> I do want this very much so. Oh yeah, now we're looking the part. Now we look like a hero. Now we look like some kind of reject from a biker gang and I love it. It's beautiful. Can we just get this out of the way now? I, I, I don't want this anymore. I don't want to... I, it's in the way. It's being annoying. Or maybe we just... Uh, no, maybe we just do this. That's fine. That's good. We have a bandana. The episode has been a success. We didn't make that much progress, but we did sort of show, like, a general overview. Oh, you got a completely different hat and everything. Oh, I love the- I love the Hyrule- Hyrule Kingdom, monks. I admire the fashion. We, we did show sort of some of the, uh, general things you can do in Hyrule Kingdom once you- once you get out of the Great Plateau. Many things to take in, and having suddenly a bit more freedom means that you have more things to distract you, in a way. And I would like to get to Kakariko Village in the next episode. It, maybe it was ambitious of me to think that we could get all the way to uh, Kakariko Village in this episode. It's quite far. We showed the, the, the gaps in distance, and we're only about uh, two-thirds of the way there now. And I feel like we've... I've tried to keep some kind of forward momentum going, so... Or just, you know, forward thrust or something. I don't really know. It's not that important. But this has been Rabbit Luigi. I need to check my recording. Better we do it now than worry about it later. But this has been Rabbit Luigi. This has been Let's Play Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In the next episode, we're going to continue up on this riverbed bank thing. Uh, gen in this general direction. We're actually going away from Kakariko Village in, a, in a, an annoying way. Oh, excuse me. Uh, and we're going to go to Kakariko, uh, Kakariko Village. We're kind of in the middle of these mountains here, so it should be a relatively easy path to get there, in theory. I imagine there's all sorts of things to distract me, and hopefully they won't be that distracting. They will be kind of distracting. Thanks for watching! I'll see you in the next one. Take care.